Right, we've got a puff adder here that's got an eye cap we have to remove. So we're just going to try and get it all done nice and safe. Snake's not too happy, it was just on a show. So we've just got to be very careful. Okay, so now I just want to obviously gently restrain the snake. I just want his body a little bit straighter. Okay, that's a typical puff adder warning. Okay. Right, so I've got a nice good grip on him now. You can see the one eye looks a little bit ghosty. Okay, just put him between my legs so I can restrain that body. Okay. So I've got to be very careful because his fangs do lie down around here. They can easily bite through their jaw and get you here. So you want to keep fingers back. I like to actually grip uh, adders, especially like this, so I can keep his head from tilting and twisting. Okay, there's lots of different ways you can remove an eye cap. Something like sticky tape. Um, obviously not too sticky. Take a bit of the stickiness away and put it on and peel it off. But what we're going to do now is just to gently grab the edge of it here. I'm on the keep still. This is when you don't want to let a puff out a go when he's between your legs. Alright, boy. Okay, so I've removed quite a lot of eye caps from venomous snakes like this. Sometimes they can be stuck a little worse than other times. This one does look pretty well stuck down. Oh, there's only a piece of it. Okay, well sometimes what you have to do is actually soak them a little bit. Just to soften the cap. Now oh, this one, it's been a while since it shed. So it could bond on you quite a bit. Nope, I think we're going to have to soak that first and then try again. Okay, so this is round two. We've just soaked the puff adder. Can't see if the cap fell off or we need to get it off still. Okay. This cap is stuck down pretty good. Alright. Okay, after a lot of circling, I finally found a weak spot. Okay, it's because the snake has shed quite a while ago, so it did dry on there pretty good. But uh, here we go. Here's the cap. Here we go. Okay, so now a lot of people sometimes when releasing a venomous snake they'll throw it away from them or something like that. I prefer to do what I call a reverse pinning method. Not always easy with something like a puff adder, but what I want to do is just put him down, put some pressure, okay just wait for him to settle a bit. I don't want him wrapping around my ankle. Okay, pressure on his head again, and then release him. Okay, 